In case you didn't notice, Starfield is a pretty big game, probably the biggest that Bethesda has ever created, and that's thanks in no small part to the 1,000 different planets that you can explore. Today we're going to be looking at 10 of the most bizarre planets that people have found. Number 1. Earth Despite the thousands of planets Starfield has on offer, our own planet Earth may be the most unique of all. Despite being known as the Blue Planet, this version of Earth has fallen into some hard times. Sometime before the Settled Systems was established, Earth lost its atmosphere and was reduced to a great big ball of dust shortly afterward. Despite this sounding about as interesting as watching mud crabs sunbathe, Earth still has a lot to offer. Scattered throughout its surface are many landmarks and items that harken back to a simpler time. Some books, such as Oliver Twist, can give you clues on where they have already discovered the Pyramids of Giza, the London Shard, and the Empire State Building. Visiting these locations will also grant the player a snow globe to keep as a souvenir, so don't worry about your hard efforts going unrewarded. Number 2. Marl 5 Found on the outskirts of the Settled Systems, Marl 5 is a beautiful planet that hosts all sorts of biomes. From overgrown swampland to calm forests, Marl 5 is definitely not lacking in beauty. But it's a diamond in the rough for sure, and that's mainly thanks to the planet's inhabitants. Most of the alien species you'll come across are going to have super high levels and won't hesitate to turn you into a human granola bar. Steer clear of this planet if you're anywhere below level 60, because these creatures will one-tap you all the way back to oblivion. Although the saying goes that fortune favors the bold, that does not apply to Marl 5. The planet is absent in rare resources, making it a fool's errand to come here for exotic materials. But that doesn't make the journey here useless. Whether it's for farming experience, testing weapons, or just establishing humanity's dominance, the flat open landscape and abundance of enemy creatures make Marl 5 the perfect hunting zone. Number 3. Procyon 3 Despite its heat or lack thereof, Procyon 3 is a contender for the best planet to set up an outpost. The planet has plentiful amounts of water, copper, argon, and fluorine. Procyon 3 may already sound like a diamond in the rough, but it doesn't end there. The planet is also rich in neon and tetrafluorides, which are some of the rarest resources in the game. And to top it all off, Procyon 3 is gorgeous to look at. Its snowy woodlands are perfect for a cozy base. And if you're having a hard time finding it now, then don't worry, as the main story will eventually take you there anyway. So, what you have is a planet that's rich in resources, beautiful, and easy to find. I can see why people like it so much. Overall, it checks all the boxes for a perfect base, so the next time you're in the Procyon system, be sure to place a beacon on this planet. Number 4. Nasuai If resources aren't the main priority, but rather a place to hang up your suit and call home, then there's really no place like Nasuai. Named after the island goddesses in ancient Greek mythology, Nasuai is rather fittingly found in the Olympus system. With its large grasslands and flat terrain, Nasuai is the perfect place to set up an endgame base. And unlike other planets mentioned on this list, Nisuai's temperatures are perfect for human conditions. Best of all is its location. Thanks to the system it's found in, Nisuai sits well within reach of the major cities. Although it's not exactly ideal for a resource-gathering base, it still comes with a plethora of basic and rare resources, such as iron and uranium. And getting from place to place won't cost as much fuel as the other planets mentioned. So, if you've somehow finished this game and the new game plus and don't know where to rest your weary head, well, there's no better place to call home than a swai. Number 5. Porima System Based on the real-life star system with the same name, the Porima System hosts a large selection of lush plants and points of interest, and with too many to choose from, it would be a shame just to pick one for this list. So, we'll start with Porima 4. This planet is being heralded as one of the best places to set up a base in the game, and although the planet on its own is not a bad choice for an outpost, I don't think it holds a candle to its moon, Porima 4D. This moon is rich in exotic resources like uranium, plutonium, and neon, but that's just us getting started. If you're the gambling type, then you might want to set your eyes on the Red Mile, a CD establishment that hosts an arena like Gauntlet for anyone brave enough. If you are hoping to take a more innocent vacation, then this system has got you covered. Paradiso is a picturesque beach resort found on the surface of Porima 2. Number 6. Hyla 2 If your time in Paradiso has left you with an acquired taste for tropical lakes, beaches, and palm trees, then Hyla 2 might be the planet for you. 
Thanks to its warm temperatures and high carbon levels, Hailetsu is rich in flora and fauna, which makes it stand out against the majority of rocky and barren planets. It's also rich in rare resources, making it a choice spot for an outpost. But be warned, as Hailetsu is as beautiful as it is dangerous, carnivorous ant-like creatures prowl the planet's lush swamps, waiting to hunt any unsuspecting ship captains they find. Even a view from afar isn't safe, since the planet's orbit is known to solicit unexpected visits by the Crimson Fleet. But like building your homestead in Skyrim, conquering Hyla 2 is worth the effort. Number 7. Eridani 2 Found on the very edge of the settled systems, we have Eridani 2, a mid-game planet that's rich in resources and beauty. Eridani 2 has a very similar landscape to that of Earth. Well, it did before Earth turned into a sandpit. But if you ask me, I think Eridani 2 is much cooler. Because not only does this planet have the grasslands, mountains, and beaches that Earth had to offer, but it'll hold a special place in the hearts of Halo fans. That's because Eridani 2 is based on the real-life Eridanus 2. Those who are Halo lore savvy will know that that's the planet Reach from the Halo game of the same name. So, although the alien life seems to all be friendly, don't say I didn't warn you if you stumble upon a Covenant presence. And although any Easter eggs are yet to be found, it wouldn't feel out of place, especially considering who owns Bethesda now. Number 8. Sumati With its peaceful lush forests and the abundance of resources, Sumati sounds almost too good to be true. It's perfect for anyone who wants to get away from the hustle and bustle of city living, and instead opt for an outpost in the great outdoors. So long as you land in an area marked as a coniferous forest, you'll be met with beautiful blue trees as far as the eye can see, making it easy to build a hidden base away from prying eyes. And if homesteading isn't up your alley, then you're still in luck, because this planet is filled with valuable resources. Woods, water, and various other valuable resources are plentiful on this planet. So, if the to-die-for views and rural living isn't to your liking, then your visit to this planet will not be in vain. Sumati is ultimately the perfect place to settle for the more introverted types that want to live out their days in the settled systems as a hermit, away from the noise of the city or people in general. Number 9. Triton if larger-than-life mountains are what you're after, then you don't have to explore much further than our own solar system. Triton is the largest and most interesting of Neptune's 13 moons. Despite its superficial similarities to our own moon, Triton holds its own when it comes to the massive peaks some of its mountains are capable of reaching. Combine this with a relatively low gravitational pull, and you have a recipe for endless fun. Hell, with the building mechanics, I'm sure you can create an obstacle course that would give the Red Mile a run for its money. And thanks to its freezing temperatures, the planet has a distinct surface that makes it look like it's been dusted with Colombian great moon sugar. So, although building a base here would be pretty cool, I wouldn't recommend putting your nose near the ground. Number 10. Mufrid 4 if you're looking for a starter base that doesn't look like some rocky hellhole from Morrowind, then Mufrid 4 might be the planet you've been looking for. Located on the upper edge of the settled systems, Mufrid 4 is not exactly outstanding when it comes to resources. Most of the item's materials you'll find here are going to be the typical iron, aluminium, and argon. But what this planet lacks in resources, it makes up for with stunning views over grassy highlands that make building a base of any size trivial. The local fauna is also relatively peaceful. There are a few territorial creatures to keep in mind, but most of them are just going to mind their own business, so long as you do the same. What we're left with is a calm planet that's perfect for building the home base of your dreams. Subscribe to Fall Damage, you milk drinker.